death. It's all about me. Most authoritative managers, most managers out there today, they got the title and they expect you to march to their drumbeat. Yeah, so it's, yeah. And, and I go back, and I'll take two seconds on my faith, I go back to, in my instance, it's Jesus Christ, others, and myself. And I try to live my life putting Him first, others second, and me third. And that helps me eat my ego. Because I love to get up and do what I'm doing, okay? And I know there's some ego in there, okay? Now, you know, and this, you know, so there's a difference in ego and self-confidence, and we all, you know, but I think if you said me one thing, it's the ego. But what's the, if a person raised me or a teacher raised me, and I know? Well, you can change those things. <laughs> Laziness, get them out the door, okay? <laughs> person's lazy or got a bad attitude, let them go work for somebody else. If people will try and got a good attitude, I'll do everything I can to help them do their job and go the extra mile. But if they're lazy and don't want to work or they got a bad attitude, I'm tired of pushing them up the hill and then coming down and pushing them up again. Get rid of them and go find somebody else. It's inner and in heart in a person because uh, not every person can be a leader. Everybody. If a person is shy, uh, it is yeah. a good employee, yeah. but not a good leader. Look, look, I got a brother who chose the right opposite of me. All right? I wanted to progress and take on greater responsibility and worked very hard at it. All right? He, on the other hand, didn't want to move, wanted to stay right where he was. Okay? He, he liked friends, of long-time friends and deep roots and all. He stayed in Birmingham, Alabama, for working for the same company for 30 years. I did seven or eight companies moving up and moving all across the country. You know, I sometimes admire and covet what he did, but I would never swap my experience because that filled what my needs were. So I've had people say, I want to be a manager, and their, and their answer is, why do you want to be a manager? And they'll say, because that's people will think I'm good. Well, he's great. He's a great salesperson, and he needs to be right where he is. Everybody cannot be, and everybody does not need to be, and God did not intend for everybody to be a leader. He intended for everybody to do their best, all right? and to treat people with the things we've talked about. But he didn't expect everybody to be a leader. There'd be nobody to walk behind me. I'd be taking a walk by myself. <laughs> All right. Okay, I know we got time. Dad promised her...